Oh, 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 we're gonna land past the finish line. Good God. Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Neil and welcome back to Beam in G Drive. In today's episode, we are going to be go-karting extreme go-karting. Actually, I don't really know if this could be counted as an actual go-kart. I mean, look at the engine on this thing. It's absolutely massive. Anyway, this is the Super Bolide go-kart and I actually took a look at this mod quite a while back, but it has been updated with an off-road edition, which of course... You know we gotta try out now, um, I think, I think he used the word off-road sparingly because it's still pretty low to the ground. But it does have some off-road tires, so of course we gotta test it out. We're at the, uh, good old Baja track here. One of the best, uh, maps for actually testing out off-road vehicles. And okay, so far, pretty dang good. You can tell it's a little bit of a, uh, bumpy ride, but it, boy, does this thing drift well. That is for sure, and the tires help a lot, but I imagine your, uh, your bum is still going to be hurting pretty bad after you get done with this thing. Look how flat it is, and this is a, yeah, if you can't tell, this is a bolide. I mean, I know it looks a little bit different, it's pretty much naked, and it has a weird roll cage, and it's really, really flat, but this is what a bolide looks like, ooh, without its skin on, basically. And it's really pretty cool. You can see all the little different mechanisms and stuff. I remember when Beam and G first came out, there was just like a very, very basic looking engine and not a lot of details, but the game now is pretty freaking, oh God. Okay, we're fine, we're fine, we're fine. I think the engine is over revving, but that's, we're not gonna worry about that now, are we? This is an off-road car. We should be able to beat the heck out of it without having to worry. Okay, 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 okay. So, when this, technically be a dune buggy because when I think of like a uh, like a go-kart I don't think of like a fully sized car I think of like a like something that you can barely fit in you know what I mean oh no some I think I broke something something is going wrong I can't stop spinning out all right let's uh let's go ahead and respawn here there we go engine already over revving that's uh that's no problem we're not gonna worry about it whoa 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 <laughs> right so this thing is uh not a, I don't think it was meant for this kind of off-roading. I think it was meant for like trail behind your house off-roading. But again, it is a bowl wide. I don't know what you expect from it. Actually, I'm pretty sure there's a rally edition of the bowl wide. Let me just go ahead and check because I just want to see. I just want something to compare this to. So do I have a rally edition? Uh, race car. Blah 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 blah. blah. I don't. Okay, so I guess this is as good as we're going to get as far as, I well, this one kind of looks like an off-road. Yeah. No, no, that's a race car. Oh, my God. Okay, well, anyway, uh, this is the off-road version of this. But, uh, again, I don't really know if it could be called off-road. See, we can get some air, though. It's very, very light. And if you have seen the old video that I made with this, with this thing, when you get a lot of air, it tends to do a backflip. I'm actually kind of curious... If this thing will do a backflip, whoa, <laughs> as well. But uh, yeah, that's not good. We're, we are on our roof. But anyway, we, at least we have the roll cage to kind of help us out. It looks like it buckled a little bit, though. That's a little bit weird. Is uh, is the dashboard made of jello? Uh, <laughs> okay, that's, uh, yeah, that's very, very strange. I'm just going to pretend that's not happening. Does it stop when I start moving? No, it gets worse. Yeah, I've never seen that happen in a bull line before. Oh my good god. <laughs> oh Jesus, what is going on with this thing? Hey, we're okay. I think, oh no, we broke something. It just, it just keeps going this way. That is not, wait, what did we do? Oh, oh, look how bent it is. No, that's not good. <laughs> oh, that looks terrible. Oh, man, you know what I kind of want to do now? I kind of want to just crash this thing for the rest of the video. I mean, I know you guys want to see me uh, test this thing to its full performance, but um, that's not what we're about here. So I'm going to take it to the crash test hall, and we're going to crash the thing. It's basically just a frame, so I'm kind of curious what it's going to do. I think it's just going to banana itself or accordion itself. I'm not really sure. Anyway. Let's go ahead and spawn it up again. I'm actually going to spawn up the regular version this time. The uh, go-kart. 
It's a supercar. Well, supercar. Whatever. We're gonna spawn this up. It looks virtually the same, only it's yellow. I'm not really sure what the difference is actually. Uh, I guess it's just the tires, but the tires looked pretty similar. Oh no, these are street tires for sure. Anyway, let's crash test this thing. I imagine it's pretty fast. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, there we go. This one has NOS as well. I didn't even turn it on. Anyway, 100 miles an hour. Boom! And it exploded. Good God. Oh no. Yeah, the uh, it's probably not a good sign when your back tire is touching your front tire. And man, those flames are going crazy. Holy crap. Anyway, let's turn on the NOS this time just for the heck of it. There we go. And let's hit it. Yeah, can we get past 100? We got pretty close last time. There we go, 100 and, oh my god, 110 miles an hour. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Uh, are the back tires touching the front? Well, the front tire's gone, but we did pretty much accordion in ourselves. So there's the seat, there's where you would be. But if we're being realistic here, you would probably be right there, right there, probably some of you up here. Some of you way back here, and little pieces basically everywhere. If we're being completely honest with ourselves, that is what would happen. <laughs> no if fans or buts about it. All right, so let's take this thing down Mount Glorious here. One of my one of the prettiest maps ever to grace the BMG forums. Uh, if this, I hope the street version is a little bit, or the street version is a little bit more grippy because that off-road version just wants to spin. But oh yeah, this is, this is nice. Holy crap! Okay, okay, okay. I don't remember this track that well. We're probably gonna end off on, end up um, going down a cliff, but that's fine. That's fine. Oh god. Oh, we're actually, we're actually doing pretty good. Okay, sharp left-hand turn up here. Gotta remember that. There we go. There we go. Nice, nice. Let's get a little first-person action. We got a bar right in our field of view. <laughs> Doesn't seem... Well, actually, that might be a little bit safer if we do crash. Uh, that would probably stop stuff from hitting us directly in the forehead, but it does compromise our view just a little bit. Whoa. Ow. We're okay. We're okay. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Now we spin out. Great. Oh. Okay, are we okay? Are we okay? No! <laughs> How does this thing even flip over? It's like the whitest car ever. I mean, look at this thing. It's white as heck. Anyway, let's keep going here. So far, so good. Okay, ooh, sharp right-hand turn. How can it handle it? Yes! If this is a go-kart, I want a go-kart. <laughs> Anybody have, like, a super powerful go-kart that can go, like, 100 miles an hour? If you do, let me know down below. Or is it like a kit car type deal? I don't know. I think it'd be if I had like a lot of land, which I could possibly have pretty soon. I'm actually house hunting right now. Uh, I've been looking at... See, I live in the middle of nowhere, basically, outside Kansas City. Uh, so there's a lot of land to go around. I could get some land and maybe, just maybe, get stuff like this so I could have room to do stuff. By the way, if you haven't heard, I used to say this all the time. But if and when... I hit 1 million subscribers. My plan is to do a sort of beam and G in real life. And by that, I mean, I'm going to invite all my YouTuber friends. So that means uh, Gray, Spears, maybe Komodo, and then my friends in real life. And we're going to get a bunch of junker cars, right? Then we're going to get a bunch of GoPros and have a demolition derby. And basically do beam and G in real life for my 1 million subscriber special. I really want to see it happen. So if you haven't already... Make sure to subscribe to me because the closer, the faster we get to a million, the faster I can make that video. It's going to be so freaking fun. And I already know where I'm going to do it. I already um, have the land that I've been given permission to do it on. Uh, and I'm going to take all the, the safety precautions. Don't, don't get me wrong. But I think it could be a heck of a video. And what, basically the best million subscriber video of all time. By the way. I know I didn't upload a 100,000 subscriber special, but I am going to upload one for 200,000 that's kind of going to act as uh, as both. So I know some of you have been wondering where the heck that is. I mean, I'm almost at 200,000 now, which is absolutely crazy. But just know it's coming. It's coming. I, I promise. Anyway, let's crash this thing. I'm tired of driving. Yeah. <laughs> Beautiful. All right. So I know you saw the title of the video. I know. I know you want to see this thing go off a giant ramp, so that's exactly what we're going to do. 
right now. So let's go to the ski jumping arena. I really want to see if this thing will do a backflip again because it used to do a backflip. And I'm really curious if in the newest version of the game it will as well. Okay, so let's first try the go-kart, the regular go-kart version. I think this one will probably do a backflip. At least I'm hoping. I'm going to turn the NOS on as well. Just so we can get that little oomph of speed here. Here we go! Come on! You go faster than that. There you go. There you go. Keep it going. Keep it going. And gun it, buddy! Hopefully the engine doesn't explode. Because that would be kind of a bummer. <laughs> and hopefully we don't scrape the bottom of this ramp. Oh my god! Yes! Backflips for days! Oh. Well, we did one backflip anyway. Oh my good god. Oh, 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 we're gonna land past the finish line. Good god. Wow. Okay, we've turned ourselves into a uh, ball of steel with a little uh, NOS bottle. Or a little LOL bottle, sorry. So that's what's left of us. That's it. Wow. That is uh, destructive, I must say. And, of course, we got to try the off-road version. I don't know how this one's going to react. I don't even know if it's as fast as the regular one. But maybe these tires will make it actually land the backflip. That's what I want to see. I want to see this thing land a backflip. Okay. Don't lose it. Don't lose it. Don't lose it. Don't lose it. Oh, this one is way more slidey than the first one. But it's fine. You should be okay. Okay. 190 miles an hour. 200. Yes! There it is. There it is. There it is. There it is. Nice. A little bit better. Are we still going to land past the finish line? No, we're not. No, we're not. That NOS helped us out on the other one. Oh, God. Well, we're getting pretty close. Oh! <laughs> still exploded. That's what I like to see. It's just weird because there's only a few parts that can come off of this thing since it's basically bare skeleton of the car. But still, still really satisfying just to see it get smunched. Anyway, guys, I know it's kind of a short video, but I'm going to go ahead and end it here, guys. Uh, if you have any ideas for future videos, let me know down below in the comments. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, check out my merch shop and my, uh, my Discord channel. Uh, they're, they're pretty cool. Anyway, I'll talk to you guys in the next one. See ya.